Welcome in everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over a one example of how to use the 6895 99.7 rule uh, within uh, the normal distribution. So to start, we have college entrance, college entrance exam scores, I missed the word exam, are normally distributed with a mean of 61 and a standard deviation of six. Now, when I teach this lesson, I try to get the students to do this right away. The mean is 61, which is right in the middle, and the standard deviation is 6. And in a normal curve, you jump by the amount of the standard deviation. So if I go left one standard deviation, I subtract 6 and get 55 here. If I jump right one standard deviation, I add 6, so I should get 67 here. And we can go out one more standard deviation, so we just keep subtracting 6. This will be 49. And to the right, we keep adding 6, so this is 73. From there, uh, you should know your percentages. 68% of the data lies between the first standard deviation, lies within one standard deviation. So 68% is in here, but since it's symmetric, we can say this is 34%. And this is 34%. 95% of the data lies within two standard deviations, so all of this here. But since 68% is in the middle, that means, what is that, 27% lies in between 49 and 55 and 67 and 73. But again, since it's symmetric, we have to divide it evenly in half. So 13.5% here and 13.5% here. Let's keep reading. This says a failing score is anything one standard deviation, I abbreviated, one standard deviation or more below the mean. Below the mean just means left. So that means anybody who got a 55 or less failed the test. So the cutoff score here, that's what a cutoff score is. What score determines whether you fail or pass? 55. The other question here is what percent of the people that took this test failed? Well, in order to answer that question, we've got to know what percentages are out here in the far off tails. So since this is a symmetric graph, we know that 50% of the data lies to the left of the mean and 50% of the data lies to the right of the mean. So if we just know that to the left of 61 is 50%, you can see already that 47.5% has been taken up to the left, which means this last little bit out here would be 2.5%. And also this last little bit out here would also be 2.5%. So when we ask the question, approximately what percentage of people failed? Well, we've got to find the cutoff score. And then anything less than that was a failure. So we can just add these percentages here to get 16%. I hope this video helps you out. Good luck, everyone.